Hello my friends, Bruce here. Oh, we got a dandy problem happening right now. My buddy Gord, uh, he's got, he's, he's picked up this lawn boy for his daughter. And for the last couple of years, it, it's been coming back because it quits running or it's not running right or, and I'm kind of naturally, I've uh, washed the carburetor, cleaned the jet, do all that stuff. And it comes back, and you know, and then he takes it away. They mow the lawn for a few times, and then it comes back. This is a BPR 5ES. So one moment, please. We're gonna get you to look down if you can. Look way down. Look way down. Oh, got a rag here. I'm gonna show you something. And we'll do it on the wooden part, so we're not using a conductive table. Can you see the letters on my on my uh, meter? Open circuit. 0.2 ohms closed circuit. So, from end to end, and I actually even uh, there we go. That's better. I actually even took a file and and uh, touched, uh, touched up the tip so I could put my leads for the uh, ohmmeter on there. End to end, it's good. It's 3.5K, 3.91, sorry, 3.91K. That's 3,900 ohms end to end. That's the perfect NG, uh, NGK BP5ES. Is that right? BPR5ES, because so it has a resistor. So then I went from here to here, so there shouldn't be any leakage from the tip to the ground, because this screws into the block, and there's no, it's open. Can you see that? OL, same. But then if I go from the case to the tip, so I think there's a crack or there's some carbon or something that's gotten into here. Watch this. Four, 20 megs, zero, open, 3.8 megs. So there's a super high resistance leak from the tip of this plug I'll we'll go right in here, from the tip here to ground. And NGK makes such a great plug. This is probably the factory plug, because I tend to buy the BPR6ES just because they're more available and they're a little cheaper. But they're still they're still an NGK plug. So now let's just have some fun. Are you with me? Right down there is a uh, is the Honda we're talking about. It's actually a uh, it's a lawn boy make and I don't know if that's an AYP frame or an N or a MTD frame or do they all are they all owned by the same guy <laughs> I don't know let's check the fuel not much fuel in it that's interesting there's enough I'm going to start this up. If it starts, we'll let it run for five minutes, or just a few minutes, until the choke settles down. So are you ready? I'll see you in five minutes. I know it's kind of boring, but I'm just making sure you guys see what's happening. Now I'm going to put this old plug back in there, and we're going to see what kind of action we get to prove my thought. I was going to use a smart word, but that's good enough. Now we need a ratchet and a socket. With a bit of an extension just makes life a little bit easier. And yes, Mick, I'm, I'm using my uh, knee pad here. Remember, everything's just very hot. Oh, it's 
It's running white. Oh, it's burning off the carbon. Right on. Okay, so we're not going to worry about that right now. We're going to stick stick this guy in. This is the one, the BPR5ES that was in it when it came to me non-running. It'll probably start. It shouldn't. that other plug back in there. I know this is kind of repetitive, but this is what you have to do when you got a, when you got a tricky trouble. Oh, we need the uh, the old plug, which is going to be hot. So now we got the new BPR6 ES in there. And this is the 5 ES that it came with when it was running poorly or not at all. So now it should start and stay running. Now remember all remembering that it is an uh, it is an automatic choke, so sometimes they get wacky when it's in between hot and warm. But we'll see. Well guys, I'm still back on my buddy Gord's thing. I have I owe him an apology because I, I kept saying to him, you've got water in your gas, you've got water in your gas. Well, he brought his gas over to me. So now I'm just going to pour this into this nice clean pail and I'm going to check and see. It looks great. I don't see any. There's a there's a there's a few crud bunnies floating around in the bottom, but I don't see any water. But now, this is the good time to use Mr. Funnel because it separates water and dirt. Like that. I gotta be careful, there's two hundred dollars worth of gas here. Not. Ooh, I might just change this up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Mr. Funnel. Removes water and dirt. Two 
to a level, right? I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to do it in sections. Okay. Now I can put this back sectionally and then and have a look at the whole thing here. See how this goes. Don't say anything about the fuel on the floor. I didn't see any water in there. Now this never quite empties, which is fine. Because now I can take the bottom of that into a clear jar. And we'll see if there's any water in here. None. Just a few crud bunnies floating around. So that's cool. Okay. Now I'll just get my mop. It's not safe. Thanks a lot, guys.